question. Harry says, love your stuff. Awesome, Harry. I will plus one that. Um, do you know any social network auto account creators with lifetime license? Some okay monthly options I found. Okay, there's... Harry, I don't know of any because we use virtual assistants that build everything manually. Um, unless one of you guys have a suggestion. Any of you? No, I absolutely don't have a suggestion because I, I do the same thing. Manual all over, uh, just auto creation all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there, there's a reason for that, Harry. Um, it doesn't matter how advanced the you know the tool that you are trying to use is. At the end of the day, it's a tool. You know, and it will leave a footprint. And again, it's the same with uh, the same happens with what we just also add. The best quality uh, network stays or or a property stays is because it's being heavily moderated. You know, that's why they are quality. And you know they usually get get deleted real real fast if you're using some sort of a, a auto concrete creator. It doesn't it doesn't I mean you can use them of course you can use them but not the way they are intended to be used on the IFTTT training at least for branded accounts. So yeah, the, what what Hernan's getting at Harry is that you can you can speed up the process of creating IFTTT networks the way that we teach by using an account creator but there there are some inherent faults with those that I found over the years um, and and we've tested all of them I mean I haven't tested these two we've tested a lot of them let's put it that way and the problem is that a lot of the times like the usernames and things like that they look spammy whatever even if you can customize that once the networks are created you still gotta log back into them and you still gotta customize all of them, complete the profile uh, by you know the, the biography, add the profile image. You still gotta interlink everything, which the bot, the, the the software tools cannot do. And one of the things that you guys are gonna learn in the new version of IFTTT SEO um, Academy is that I am using Google authorization, authorizing through Google, uh, the Google app or Twitter, every right. single account that where possible. Right so that there's that interconnection they're connected apps now with Google and with Twitter where possible so that it looks a hell of a lot more real because software tools or apps or applications that create or bots that create accounts will not authorize via Google or Twitter all they will do is create accounts using email and password so if you can go that extra step and authorize with the Google account and, and Twitter account now you've got accounts that are tightly knit together with connections that look 100% real instead of faked. So mm -hmm. that they're they're a hell of a lot more likely to stay to be given more weight number 1 and number 2 last longer and less likely to be terminated. Yeah. And also to to add to what you were saying Bradley um you know it, it the the actual social login or the social sign up was designed uh, you know as well to communicate with APIs and well, APIs and whatever to right. make it easier for the user to sign up you know if you can click a button and instantly be you know using that platform just by logging in or signing up by using twitter you know that's usually what people does you know that's right so that's what and that's bots exactly don't. yeah exactly and that's exactly why we are trying to emulate with the IFT when creating personas, etc. So that's right. That's part on. And when you looked at your like your Google account dashboard, for example, and you look at your connected apps, and twelve of the twenty properties in the IFTTT network are actually connected apps to Google. Some of them being social data hub partners. That's damn strong. That identity now is really strong in Google's mind because it's connected throughout to, across multiple social media. Some of which or social data hub partners and if that looks that that's not spammy at all guys spammy connections are ones that don't have any app connections at all okay so just keep that in mind so honestly Harry I, I can't you know you can use some of these tools to kind of create the accounts up front which will save you just a little bit of time but you still got to go in and do all the other things in order to meet our specifications if you want to do your own thing you're certainly welcome to do so